Hello everyone, this is John Galt speaking here with an introduction video to uh, this tutorial series that I've uh, been working on. So some of you that have, uh, may know me from my YouTube page where I run a YouTube page talking about various different aspects of game design, doing demonstrations, uh, doing certain videos, showing how to do certain things. But I'm also a game designer and game developer, a freelancer, and a subcontractor. Uh, I've been working with this engine since uh, around about 2014, uh, focusing strictly on blueprints and multiplayer. I'm also a UE4 Marketplace content creator where I create demos and templates and prototypes for people uh, to buy so that they can uh, use them uh, to learn from or to start building their very own project. So I currently have three on the UE4 Marketplace, fixing to be four once this tutorial series is completed. So I'm not going to talk about all these, but I would like to uh, at least mention here that each one of these products on the UE4 Marketplace does have a playable demo that you guys can uh, download for free and check out. So if you find me on the UE4 Marketplace by searching for any of these products, when you go to the description of the product, uh, there is a test package build. So you guys can download an executable file that you can run on your computer and run around in the demo and kind of see what it's like. So I've been promising my followers uh, of my YouTube page that I was going to be working on a... Uh, a pro version of a template, right? So uh, essentially, I try to keep all my products on the UE4 Marketplace simplistic in nature uh, because I happen to believe that the majority of the people that are uh, purchasing these things are using them as learning tools, meaning they're going in there and uh, looking at how all the blueprints are scripted and how they all talk to each other and communicate. And when you create a, a big, huge game, you guys know that that's a big, huge undertaking, and it can get pretty complex and complicated uh, the further you go in it. So I've been promising my, uh, my YouTube followers and friends that there would eventually be a professional version of a template uh, that would be on the UE4 Marketplace built by me for sale. <laughs> and so... A lot of these templates here are focused on a specific thing, such as teams and class select that's only focusing on teams and class select, how you could make a uh, menu system so that you could pick different characters and, and have different classes, and each character class would look different depending on the team that you're on. This template here is called Simple Capture the Flag, which is nothing more than how you could integrate and set up a Capture the Flag team-based capture the flag mechanic in an existing game and then i have this multiplayer fps basic which focuses strictly on how i set up a multiplayer team-based multiplayer first person shooter game so the professional version that everyone has been asking me for is a a coup de gras a combination of all these little simplistic templates and more added on top of it into a complete complex template that supports everything from teams and class select to game modes, uh, various different game modes, uh, capture the flag, team death match, free for all, single player mode, co-op mode. So they really want a ginormous template is what a lot of these guys want. So with that and the combination that there is a, uh, a person, a follower of mine who uh, wanted me to create a tutorial series on the step-by-step -step process of, of creating, recreating all these things that you guys see in my products, plus more that these products don't represent and don't show, uh, the step-by-step -step process of that from a completely blank project with nothing in it. And so I started that, and I've been working on that for some weeks now, months now. And um, I decided that since I'm going through the trouble of making this tutorial series, he's actually paying for these. Uh, he's paying $20 per video for these tutorials to be made. But 
the thing is is that i would like others to be able to benefit from his uh contribution of funding these videos to get them started to get them made uh plus my hard work energy and effort of putting in the hours to talk through all the different mechanics and everything that i've been building uh so that's what i've been doing and i've decided that if it gets accepted that is actually going to be on uh, udemy and so i'm making this video ahead of time uh before that process has even been started so if you guys are watching this video then that means it got accepted onto udemy and you guys will also be able to benefit from all those videos and all that hard work of the process of creating a multiplayer game from scratch uh, that contain a lot of the mechanics that you guys can feel free to download and try uh, yourself and um, that's the plan so with that i'm going to go ahead and bounce into a couple of these projects here just to kind of show you guys a little bit of the stuff so this is a project that i had called multiplayer first person shooter uh jetpack so this 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 project actually has a, the ability for characters to jetpack around kind of like a tribes game uh, you have health energy uh, you have two weapons that you can switch between one is a projectile based uh hit scan or a projectile based aoe weapon the other is a hit scan auto fire weapon they have ammo counts they have reloads right so you can reload these things uh you also have melee attacks right so this character can actually swing a sword and if i can aim hit this guy uh, you have ammo, health pickups, uh, different type ammo. One is for bullets, one is for the explosive gun. You also have an offhand grenade that you can throw. That's a sticky bomb that you can stick to your player, uh, your enemy, and, and shoot him. Uh, this doesn't have team implemented in it, right? So this doesn't have any team play. It has a match timer. Uh, the character also has an ability so you can activate called this one's called afterburner so it's only got one ability um, and that's essentially what this project is so a lot of these mechanics will be in this tutorial series on how i achieve this this is a first and third person game so you can actually pan back and forth between uh, the characters also uh, this is not the technique that you guys may have saw where they just take a third person character and put a camera on the head of the character and then pan back and forth between uh, that and another camera. This is actually using three separate meshes to represent the first person character. There's a set of arms, a lower torso, and then the full body mesh, which is what everyone else sees. This also kind of has turn in place animations, aim offsets, and all that so that's one of the projects and once again you'll see a lot of these mechanics built in this tutorial series it won't be this exact template but it'll be a lot of the same mechanics that you see here so that's one uh and then we also have uh the multiplayer fps basic so this is the one that is actually on the marketplace uh that you guys can uh, check out uh so all these come with a little menu uh, and you can host up games you can change which map you start on how many players you have uh, and then you host up a game and then you can pick a team and then you're on that team and then the menu that we create gives other players the ability uh, to be able to find that hosted game so it'll search through uh, the online steam online subsystem is what this uses it's integrated into the engine and we enable it and set it up uh, and then you can also then pick a team and then you have this this is the product that's currently on the ue4 marketplace it's not a jet packing game but it's very similar to the other uh all this has death and respawn mechanics based on the team that you're on uh, this one also has those same kinds of pickups uh, this one is first person only right so this one doesn't have the ability to switch between first and third uh, you have sprint you have basic character movement you can switch your weapons very similar to that other template you got a hit scan primary and a uh, projectile based secondary 
explosive AOE weapon. These have ammo counts, reloads. Uh, there is some uh, healing and, and death over time volumes. That's what these are. I would uh, encourage you guys to go download the little demo and try it out, right? You guys can run around in this. Uh, and then this, it also, this one also has some auto turrets that is team based. Uh, various different aspects of UI. So this one has a player list. It will show you the, the players that are connected to your game and which team they're on. Uh, so that is mechanics that are covered in this tutorial series. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this one. I don't want to make this video three hours long. So uh, then we have the uh, simple capture the flag template. So this is pretty similar. These menus are pretty similar. Uh, but this template here focuses strictly on the mechanic of capturing the flag. So let me go ahead and uh, connect up a, a player here. And these menus have progressed and changed over time. And the one that we're building in this tutorial series is actually quite different than this one. Same kind of concepts, uh, but different, looks different. So this is capture the flag. Literally, there's no mechanics in here other than what it takes to be able to achieve a capture the flag type mechanic in your game. So you can see the uh, score increases by one. It's got, you know, the whole five flag captures. That team's the victor. Uh, if, if there's no flag caps before the timer expires, it looks to see which team had the most. That team is declared the victor. Uh, and if it ends in a tie, it pops up a screen saying that it was a stalemate. The only mechanic in here other than that is the ability to force respawn by hitting your Z key. So that's why this is called Simple Capture the Flag. Only focusing on team play with Capture the Flag and uh, how I would set that up in a uh, actual game. So this one's pretty easy to talk about. That's what that is. This will be covered in that tutorial series at some point. You know, it takes a long time to make these things, these videos and stuff. So it's coming along. And it's, I plan for it to be an actual ongoing tutorial. Right, so whatever it launches with, when the course gets approved or not approved, there will be other videos added to that as they're made. Okay, so this is gonna be something that's gonna be ongoing. Uh, and then we have the uh, teams and class select, which quite literally uh, focuses on how you would implement the ability for uh, a player to pick teams and also pick between one and five classes, right? So this has no mechanics in it. Like it doesn't have any shooting mechanics uh, or any of that stuff. And that's by design, right? I wanted to intentionally keep these simple for people that buy these to just learn and focus strictly on that one particular mechanic without having to dig through an entire ginormous project, right? That was the point of this. So this displays, uh, you know, icons representing the, the class. You can see uh, above the player's head. Uh, you can see that these meshes are different, right? So this mesh is not the same as that mesh. That is an assault class, which means it would look different. You could use a different mesh. Uh, and then the recon mesh could also be different. Then I went ahead and also put in these little terminals that you can go into and actually change your team in game in real time, right? So that's kind of a tribes-ish type mechanic too. And now you can see here that we're both, we both have the same icon. We're both assault classes. However, this is the blue team assault class, which doesn't look visually mesh, doesn't look the same as the red team assault. So each class can be represented by a different skeletal mesh and uh, depending on which team you're on, you could have a different skeletal mesh. So think of it like this. Think of it like boys versus girls. The, 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 the boys would be the blue team. The girls could be the pink team. And you could both still be an assault. The difference would be that if you're on the blue team, you would look like a boy assault. And if you're on the girl team, you would look like a girl assault. Another way to think of it would be like a, a game that has Axis versus Allies allies versus uh you know the germans and uh that's what this mechanic specifically focuses on how you can achieve that and that is it right so uh 
welcome if you guys get to access this class i appreciate you guys very much and buckle in and prepare yourself for a lot of work because guys making games is hard but it is my intention to try to help you understand how i am putting together all these mechanics that you saw displayed here so with that feel free if you guys have any questions to reach out uh and i will be glad to help you guys so with that you guys take care and we will see you guys in the other videos have a good one